Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Monday Morning Art Talk. I'm Steven Silver, character designer and teacher, dedicated to helping you learn about the art industry and living up to your potential. Whippee! All right, so before we get started today, I wanted to share with you this upcoming Wednesday, December 18th. I'm doing another Artist Anonymous. You can go to my website down below here, silvertoons.com, and go to the Artist Anonymous. It's just a $5 online one-hour session where a bunch of people from all over the world, we come together. I just limited it at 20, and just everyone, we're just discussing just art, we're discussing our lives, we're discussing, everyone talks about what they're experiencing, what they're going through, what they're facing, and just an open discussion, because I find that one person may be going through some form of struggle, yet the other person's already gone through that, so it's a great way just for people just to air out and discuss things of what they're going through, so if you're inclined to and you have time, it's from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. PST, zone. So if you're around, um, hop on in, join in, and um, I'll see you there. So today what I just wanted to talk about is just trying to truly know when it's time to move on in the idea of what's next. Trying to discover for yourself what's next and really just how to go about that. And this is an important thing that I'm going through that I just kind of want to share with you. I love listening to different podcasts and I find stuff all the time. I'm not glued to any one thing, but that's the beautiful thing is discovery. And I think it's important to hop, skip and jump around just different people that you're listening to. And I appreciate that you guys listen to this and sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, and you bounce around and you should because you're always gonna learn something new. And recently I came across a podcast it's by uh, through the Kabbalah Center and it's a, just a fascinating philosophy on it's not necessarily religion as much spirituality but there's so much it's so deep and this guy was talking about when you first open up the conversation which just resonated with me like boom there's sometimes things you're gonna are just gonna hit you and you're gonna go my god that's it that was the message I'm supposed to hear and that's what we're waiting for oftentimes is sometimes I feel like when we're just at odds with ourselves, we're not feeling just 100% motivated we're not inspired it just takes that one moment that one little thing just to go ding and it becomes that bell that goes off in your head. And these are important things just to pay attention to. And he said, what is it, and this is part of the Kabbalah teaching, what is it that you have certainty about that you're supposed to manifest? What is it that you have certainty about that you're supposed to manifest? And that is like a lot of the times we don't have certainty about the things that is that is what's next. What are we supposed to do? What, am I, what do I want to do? What am I trying to achieve? Where am I trying to go? So you have uncertainty and you're unclear of what it is that you even want. Again, this is part of the desire. What is it that you're even seeking? What is it that you even want to have happen in your life to move you to that next step, up that next rung? And the uncertainty or the certainty is what? Because if you have certainty about something, you truly feel that, man, I'm supposed to be doing this. I know that this is what I love. I know for certain that this is my passion. I know for certain this is what I love. I know for certain this is what I want to have happen in my life. But you're certain about it. That's when things just start to happen. And why I think it resonated with me because... I believe that everything that I did have certainty certainty about from book publishing to doing caricatures to doing app development to teaching to doing workshops to do all the things that I do, I had certainty about it. I knew that's what I wanted. And because of that, things can start to progress and happen and you'll get led there in, in ways and they manifest and then they, they happen. It's true. It's really true. When you don't have that certainty about it, you're like, well, that would be cool or that would be a fun job or this and that. 
They notice how things take so much longer to happen for you. Notice how so much more you struggle and that it's not happening for you because it's not necessarily a true certainty. It's an idea. It's, uh, well, that might be a good way to make money. That might be a good way to get famous. That might be a good way to get noticed. You know, it's like, these are things that are just sort of aloof. They're not really things of certainty. And that's why I want you to dig deep within yourself and say, what do you have certainty about that you're going to manifest, that you can manifest and you should manifest within your life? And in time, through timing, it'll happen. And that's what we got to believe too in the timing. And that's the thing that we struggle with the most as humans especially in today's era. It never used to be like this in the 80s and early 90s when my childhood and everything, 70s. It's just that we want to have expectations for everything to happen so quickly and overnight and instantaneously. And if it doesn't happen right now, blah, 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 we go insane, right? And this is the new world we're living at. So you got to slow that down, you know, wherever you can. So Knowing that you have certainty about something is going to start to lead you to other things. So this is an important factor. And what happens is if you're not, um, but what you have to, what you have to do is if you're going through a phase and I can talk about this perspective just recently that I had my own sort of story to share with you guys. Things where I kind of knew what I wanted. I know what I have certainty about. And that's another thing I want to t talk about is you got to make sure that you talk about what you want all the time. Let people know about it. Talk about it. Not so much as this, if that, oh my God, I have it and it's magical and I got all this stuff and it's in the bank and I got the jobs and, you know, not that, you know, this sort of pretend stuff. But the, the idea that you keep talking about it because this is what you want to have happen. So you keep letting people know about it because the more people that know about it and hear about it, even though it's not currently the full on situation, is going to lead to people. Oh, I didn't know. Hey, I know someone and I know this and this and it leads to stuff. And that's why you want to keep talking about it. Don't don't hold your dreams inside. Don't hold your passions inside you. Speak of them, air them out, let them be known. And again, talk about is this is what I'm currently doing. This is what I'm currently working on. You don't have to have everything. You just need to say because by actively doing something, you do have it. OK, by you just saying that this is what I want to have happen, you're working towards making it a reality. And that's what it is that you even want to have happen. So myself, I was just I, I know what I want. I know what I have certainty about in my life. I have certainty beyond a shadow of a doubt, without a doubt that I'm supposed to be. My purpose in life is to teach and share my knowledge with people to help improve other people's lives and move them to the next mission, to the next landing spot, to get them up and out and move beyond where they're currently at. That's my purpose, that's my mission that I want to achieve, that I'm supposed to achieve, and I'm supposed to share it with audiences all around the world. So I'm supposed to share that with students at schools, I'm supposed to share that with professionals in real jobs because I meet so many professionals who are so unfulfilled and what I want to do is just give them that sense of you can just do fulfilling things for yourself. You can get more creative. You can do these things and that's what I want to share with people. That's my message. That's what I know for certain I'm supposed to do. Now, I've been teaching probably for the last 20 years, and every year it's been a progression from teaching here, teaching there, starting my own school, doing this, doing that, doing that, all these different things, they, they, they're happening. But what I realize is, is it going at the pace that internally I want it to happen? No, because I'm sort of ADD like that too right now in my life where, and I talk about it with my son where I do want, like if I order something, I want it right now, <laughs> right? So it's these things that you do have, all right? I'm saying just try not to think like that all the time, but know for yourself that's the reality, okay? So there's acceptance of like, yeah, I do want things, of, I do believe in timing, I do know things take time, but myself talking realistically, I do have that urgency where I want things right now, always have been, okay? <clears throat> um, 
It's just today's society has made it so you we, we think like that all the time that it's it has to happen, but that's the reality is that it doesn't, okay? So knowing that, that I want this right now, I've been building slowly but slowly, and every year through timing has led to more things, better things, exciting things, opportunities happen, this happened, that happened, so things happen in that realm. But then I go, yeah, but what I really want, I want to be talking to so many different types of audiences and I want to be doing all that and I want to be doing this. So because of I, because I don't have that, exactly what I want in that facet, I know that I need to uh, take action now, okay? So the most important thing that I can do right now because I have certainty of what I want is not neglect it and not just talk about it and just say this is what I want all the time. I got to act on it. And this is what I want to share with you guys is taking action upon what you have certainty, certainty about. So part of my action plan that I've taken, because I was going through this lull where I'm like, man, I want this stuff to happen. And I, and I just kind of want it to happen at a faster rate than it's happening. And I want this to manifest itself. But then I realized I'm not doing anything about it. I'm talking about it, but I'm not actively doing something. I'm leading up to it. I know what I want. I know that I want this person to come into my life to make things a reality. And I know that I want this to happen. I know, I know what I want, but I can't just sit there with that want and that desire without taking some form of action. So what are those forms of action that I did and that you can do? What sort of changed my mindset? All of a sudden I realized again, okay, in order to make it happen, I got to act on it. What does that mean? I'm going to start researching. So research became the first most important thing that I could do. Step one was research. What is it that I want to do? Okay, I want to do more speaking. I want to do this. I want to do that. Boom, start doing it. All of a sudden, Google it. Things pop up. All of a sudden, leads me to this podcast. All of a sudden, now I'm listening to this podcast, do this thing, get this email from this person. Things start popping up, right? They're, they're like the Google and everyone is watching you. So <laughs> everything starts popping up. But now by me taking action, now number one is the research. So now I'm listening every day, making sure that I'm listening to uh, someone, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's podcasts, whether it's reading, whether it's whatever it is that I'm doing at least one thing a day, one thing, one moment, it's a very small amount of time you have to ever put into anything. One little thing just to go, hey, while I'm drawing or while I'm doing whatever, I can listen to that and that's giving me the knowledge. And all of a sudden listening to that, oh my God, that person just said something. Whoa, what is that? Boom, 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 start researching. Next phase of research. Wow, that was interesting. I just discovered that now. How great is that? I didn't even know that exists. So then it leads me to these sort of actions, which led me to, hey, I'm going to start emailing someone. Someone. If I email one or two people a day, do I know if that's going to be effective? I don't. Do I know that I'm going to be ever hear back from them? I don't. Most of the time you get ghosted. Most of the time you never hear back from people. But I feel better about the fact that I've taken action and I'm not doing nothing. And that's the important thing. It's just like I'm, I'm following through with my certainty of things that I know that I'm supposed to do in this life. I know I know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, this is it, man. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Standing in front of audiences and sharing knowledge and having those people walk out of there and being like, damn, man, thank you. Thank you. You gave me a new perspective. You gave me a new outlook. I know what I need to think about, know what I need to do through improvement of my own life or in my art, whatever it may be. That's what I know. So taking those action steps is going to be the most important thing you can do. But I'm going to come back as I'm wrapping up here is again that with that question of what they and I don't know the guy's name. I think it was called the Kabbalah Center um, on the YouTube that I found. And they, the guy just said, what do you have certainty about? that you know you're supposed to manifest. So focus on that. I want you to think about that this week, today. I wanna to think about what do you have certainty about that you're going to start saying yes. I know that I am supposed to be selling artwork in galleries, okay? And you know it for sure. It's just this thing that keeps pulling you. And I think how the question is, and so maybe I'm not wrapping up here. People will go, well, how do you 
know what that certainty is. If you don't know what that certainty, if you don't know what that certainty is, then you don't know what that certainty is. And maybe you're not supposed to know right now. Maybe you haven't had enough life experience right now. Maybe that might be part of it, that you haven't experienced enough in your journey, in your life to really truly know what that certainty is. Or maybe you do. Maybe you have that inclination where you know just deep down inside that you were supposed to be a fireman. There's something that every time you hear of a burning house or something and you see something, you're just like, my God, man, that's, why am I so attracted to that? Or why am I always researching that? Why am I always looking up fire hoses? Why am I always looking at fire gear? Why am I always, maybe that's something in life certainty. It's just like, maybe that's what I'm supposed to be doing because I am putting a lot of attention and I am putting a lot of focus to that. But also you got to be, you know, just true to yourself. I mean, there's a level of, especially in the art world, is the talent. And even beyond the art world, people say in their lives, I'm just not, you know, they're an engineer, they work for this company, they're insurance, they're a banker, they're a, a lawyer or something else. And they just go, man, this is just so unfulfilling to me. And I wish I had a talent. I wish there was something else I could do. Yet I still feel like even those people, there's a certainty about them through their experience that may even be like, I know that I'm supposed to be a teacher. I know that I'm supposed to maybe, I know some uh, are some people who are doing their regular jobs, just, eh, it sucks, regular day job, yet they're amazing carpenters. They make cabinets and stuff like no tomorrow, they can build. That's a sort of certainty that if I, if I, if I, if I gave you all the money in the world and everything else and they said, what are you gonna do tomorrow? Man, I'm quitting my job and I'm just building cabinets all day long. That's pretty much a certainty. What do you have certainty about? So if you truly have the certainty that I'm supposed to be a cabinet builder, well, now it's up to you to manifest that and make that a reality. So what you have to do as an individual is start the research and go, how do I start my own business? How do I start building clients? How do I, how do I ask the question, how? You know why you want to do it? Because it's your calling. It's your feeling. It's just like, why? Because it's just something I love. It's something I'm passionate about. That's why doesn't have to be anything more than the fact that I'm so damn passionate about this and I love this so much. That's why I want to do it. And now I'm going to do it and see what happens and see what it manifests into. But you got to be willing to put in the work and set aside the fear of whether it's going to work or not. And another thing that I just kind of want to mention, while you're trying to discover your certainty and what it is that you truly want to do in this life, are you just going to jump ship, jump off the ship and without a lifeboat? No. You got to be doing this while you're doing the other jobs. You got to be doing this while because nothing's going to timing. Nothing's going to happen right away. You can't just all of a sudden jump off of one barrel and then think that another one is just going to be there for you. You have to have that other platform to sort of spring off onto. So make sure while you're doing the thing that you don't necessarily love so much, whatever that may be, or you do love it, but you know that you have something more, that your your life is more purposeful, that you have something more that you want to create and make happen in your life. Just make sure that you're working on it and trying to figure it out why you're doing all this other stuff. So for myself, that's what I'm trying to do. I've been building this teaching career, this workshop path and the mentorships and all the stuff that I've been doing while I've been working as a professional doing art for other people. Yet that not that is not my end game. My end game is not to just be a work for hire for other people. I do not want to keep working for studios and doing stuff for the rest of my life. That is not my plan. My plan is to start building this whole other idea and life that I want because you know what? You can. You get to create. That's the sort of scary thing, but wonderful thing is you get to create the life that you want if you're willing to put in the time and the effort to just kind of make that happen and do the research to make it happen. And while you're working on something else, make that happen. Don't neglect it. Eventually, one thing's going to take over and start building up, but you get to decide what you want to do. If I want to be a voluntary firefighter on the side, I can do that. If I want to be a voluntary police officer, I can do that. If I want to go out and, you know, do sea rescues voluntarily, I can do that or try to, 
you know, build it into something. And you can, what do you want to do? What are you passionate about? What excites you? Maybe you want to just teach children. Maybe you want to go to children's hospitals and do something. And maybe there's something. And I do want to say what you will find the most rewarding out of all of it is never going to be self-serving. Other than the fact that you know you got to make a living and you want to make some money off it. And there's nothing to be ashamed of saying that I want to make a living, a life and a living off of this. And in order to do so, I got to charge you or I got to charge someone in order for myself to benefit in order to benefit someone else. But not self-serving to where you're doing something of service and helping other people out and, and maybe enlightening their life somehow. Getting paid for it, but you're helping people out. You're guiding people. Even if you're going to the children's hospital, that the hospital will be willing to pay you for your time that you're doing as a service to help other people. Again, you can volunteer. You can do things. You can help be a part of different organizations. You can get on the board of different organizations. You can get on leadership. You can do something to help volunteer where you're giving your time if you have the time and you can do it. But find those little bits and pieces and ways that aren't going to be about me, 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 and just me, 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 and me and I got to get my awards and I want to be noticed and I want to be this and I want to be that and I just want people to notice me because and I, and I need that recognition and I need those awards because if I have an award oh my god that's going to make me so uh people are going to just think so highly of it they don't so stop, stop chasing awards and everything else and some people it's sick to me the, the, the amount of effort and stuff that they put into just wanting to get an award it's kind of it's kind of weird and it's just there's uh there's a narcissistic, egotistical factor that goes into that when that becomes so important to you that you feel that you're only going to be worthy in life is if you have a trophy to show for it. That's kind of like a weird thing. And we all know that's temporary because no one cares once the award ceremony is over. Right. It's everyone the building up. And, and the funny thing is that the award ceremonies, when they're people, they don't get the award crickets. You, you no one even wants to talk to you. They're kind of scared to go up next to you and say, oh, man, it should have been you. Uh, sorry, man. You know, so try to find things that are purposeful, that are meaningful, that aren't just so just about yourself. But again, think about that. Yes, I can make a living at this and I can that, that's going to be a good thing. All right, so that's it. What do you have certainty certainty about? Again, if you'd like to join us for uh, Artists Anonymous, go to silvertunes.com, go to the Artists Anonymous. It's only five bucks for an hour of just us talking, just everyone, a little group, just talking. It's just like uh, trying to figure it out. Well, what's going on in your life? What are you experiencing? All right, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Take care. To learn more about my Skype mentorships and workshops, please visit silvertunes.com. And if you like, sign up for my mailing list where you'll be notified of any upcoming workshops or events. Thanks so much for listening and I'll talk to you next week.